Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Pernsol, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us doing our FIFA 22 starter squad on Footbin. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. <laughs> Right then guys, welcome back to the video and I am excited for this. I can't wait to get this started. So I'm gonna call it starter, stater, nice, starter squad. There we go, we've got that sorted. Right, I'm gonna also change the formation to a 4 triple two. Let me know in the comments section down below what formation you guys are gonna pick. I love the 4 triple two formation, hence why I'm gonna pick it because in FIFA 21, it was my go-to formation. I loved it, I played with it. It was the best formation for me. So, I'm gonna stick with it. First player I'm gonna put in is none other than Timo Wana. I don't know how much he's gonna be at the start of the game, but I really wanna get him as I put, as I think he's gonna be a very good meta starting striker for the beginning of the game. Then, CDM, or center mid. We're gonna put in Declan Rice because his card looks insane. Okay, the pace can be a bit higher, but let's be honest, right? If you put in a shadow on that card, it will bump up to around 74, 75 pace, and that card will be decent, especially with the defending on it. Jeez! Cam, we're gonna use the suggested, and I'm gonna just pick freaking Kai Havertz. Because who else do you want? You want a German connection, you want the strong link, and guess what? There's no one better at the moment than Kai Havertz at Cam. I'm joking, it's Bruno Fernandes. But you know what I mean? So yeah, then we go right back, and right back, I want to try and get myself my hands on a uh, Reese James again looks like a decent right back for the start of the game it's either gonna be him or as P for me so I just thought Reese James because I think he's the better option because as as P isn't the agile if you guys know what I mean then center backs oh bro center backs it's a tough one I for me this is looking heavily Chelsea right now as you guys are thinking but for me it has to be Antonio Rudiger but I'll tell you guys why it's because of that Stuttgart connection so basically he came from the Stuttgart Academy and the guy's an absolute fucking G so that's why for me and he's played so well for Chelsea over the last couple of months that I just have to feel have to just put him in plus the 84 defender 84 physicality with the 75 pace as well is going to be ridiculous with the shadow on it that's just going to be bleh, to come up against like legit bleh. Give me nuts. Then our goalkeeper is going to be none other than Kepper. Yes, you guys are thinking Kepper. It'd probably be Henderson, but they don't actually have Henderson's card on footbin yet. But yeah, I'm going to probably either go Henderson or Kepper just to start us off because we won't have that many coins starting off the road to glory. This is going to be a hybrid squad because this camera right here is going to be none other than Marco Royce. And you guys know Royce to glory will be returning for FIFA 22. I can't wait. Royce to glory i can't wait royce bro i can't wait to get my hands on you it's gonna be a sick card and it's gonna be a it's gonna be so much fun using him then we're gonna go uh left striker and we're gonna put my guy Daniel malin in there he his card looks so op 90 pace 18 dribbling 79 shooting 72 passing 74 fears with 30 defending his card looks like a very 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 meta card to be able to abuse the pace within fifa 22 in the starting weeks then cdm I know who I already, already want to put in there. It's going to be none other than your boy M. Ray Chan with, again, almost Hulit Gang stats on that card. His card looks sick. And it's a shame, actually, for Dortmund because obviously they sold Thomas Delaney to Sevilla. So, yeah, it's a shame that he's not playing for them anymore. But he, if, it, if he was to be playing for them, I would have picked... The, um, Thomas Delaney over Emre Chan because obviously he's got a better shot Then left back. I'm just gonna do the smart tool here smart option and I will be picking your boy Schultz and Schultz again. It's mainly for because of the pace I want to be able to track back and like not feel like I'm gonna be exposed at the center back or uh, the defensive positions So that's why I'm gonna use uh, my left back to uh, pace abuse so I can obviously come back on defense and tackle and get the ball then the last player to complete our starting squad is gonna be none other than your boy Akanji. Obviously, this is a very optimistic starting squad, <laughs> the 82 overall. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking good. I can't wait to actually get started with you for 22. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these cards. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' starter teams look look like. Put them in the comments. Literally leave the links to them in the comments because I don't mind clicking on them and having a look. And with that being said, with that being said, it has been your boy Pugs 12. If you guys have liked the video, please do the like button, subscribe already, and I'll see you guys on my next one very very soon. Peace.